Hello everyone and welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today we're going to take a look at the Moroi's special abilities and how to best identify this ghost type on Nightmare Mode. The Moroi is known for the curse it places on players, a curse which rapidly drains sanity until the player either takes sanity pills or hits 0% sanity. The rate at which your sanity drains will depend on if you are playing solo, the difficulty you are playing on, and the map size, as it is always double the normal passive sanity drain. So, for example, if you're playing on a small map on multiplayer, the Moroi's Curse will cause 0.48% sanity drain per second, since the passive sanity drain would normally be 0.24% per second when a player is in the dark. If you are playing solo, that value would be cut in half. The curse is triggered when a player gets a spirit box response or any paranormal noise, such as a footstep or a whisper, on the paramic. Because of this, the Moroi is guaranteed to give spirit box as one of its two evidences on Nightmare Mode. Thus, if you only get ghost writing and freezing temps on Nightmare, you can immediately rule out the Moroi. In contrast to normal passive sanity drain, the Moroi's curse will not be stopped by being in the light or by holding a candle. It'll be momentarily paused when you leave the map so you will not be able to observe your own sanity dropping from the curse when you are back in the van. If you do not take sanity pills, the curse will resume draining your sanity once you are back in the map. When you do take sanity pills, the curse will be stopped. It is also important to note that only the person who gets a response on the spirit box or hears a noise on the paramic will get cursed at that moment. Any other players that are nearby and also hear the response of the spirit box will not be cursed as well. However, the Moray can curse anyone during the investigation if they use the spirit box or paramic, and you can get cursed again after you have taken sanity pills to stop the curse. The Moray will also get faster as average sanity drops. Here is its speed when the average sanity is above 50%. At 25% average sanity, the base speed is increased to approximately 1.8 meters per second. At 0% sanity, the Moroi speed maxes out at a base speed of 2.25 meters per second. The Moroi's speed will increase from these base speeds when it is in line of sight of a player, making them even more dangerous at low sanities. Comparing a ghost speed as your sanity decreases can be one way to test for the Moroi on Nightmare Mode. The Moroi is also said to suffer from hyperosmia, and this simply means that the smudge stick will have a greater effect on the ghost during hunts than all other ghosts. Instead of defending you for 5-6 to six seconds, the smudge will deter the ghost for a full 12 seconds. This weakness can also be used to test for the Moroi on Nightmare Mode. Have one smudge stick in hand and place a second one nearby. Wait for the ghost, smudge, and immediately grab the second smudge stick. If the ghost targets you again after only a few seconds, it can't be a Moroi. If the effect seems to wear off after 10 or so seconds, it's a Moroi. If you are out of smudge sticks, you can test for the Moroi using its curse ability. Have one player go into the map when the average is above hunting range, which for the Moroi is the normal 50% sanity threshold. Take in a candle, a lighter, and either the spirit box or the paramic. After getting a response or a noise on one of these devices, have the player move as far away from the ghost room as possible, near or in a hiding spot, and hold the lit candle in their hand. If the candle goes out, make sure to relight it immediately by having a lighter in your inactive inventory. Staying away from the ghost room will hopefully reduce the chance of you getting a ghost event, and will also help you stay safe if the ghost does begin to hunt. Holding the candle will prevent any passive sanity drain. Thus, if you get hunted without having any ghost events, you can know your sanity drain was caused by the Moroi's curse. So I hope you found this guide useful, and if you did, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe for future Phasmophobia content. I'd also like to give a huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. I couldn't do this without you. Happy hunting out there!